Today I want to share the number one first most important component of success and how you make sure that you've got it. Now here's a hint, sometimes you got it, sometimes you don't. Hi, my name is John Witt with Business Witt and yesterday I had the opportunity to experience an amazing client. And today I'm going to share what makes an amazing client and how I know that success is just a matter of time for them. It's the first most important component of success. Now they had already taken a massive action by creating their business plan and setting their goals and strategies in the one day business blueprint intensive that I presented in April. And now they were taking strong targeted action towards their goals. Now very briefly, I'll share that the next one day business blueprint intensive is scheduled for June 28th. And at the end of this video, I'll share how you can get it for free. You'll be able to click on a link. Now nothing happens without action, but that's not the number one component of success. Okay, back to the story. Late yesterday afternoon, I received a call from the same client requesting a conversation. Now, I love this action. They realized that something wasn't quite right for their business. They were observant. They realized what was not happening. They took ownership and they took action. Now, that's awesome. They had the first most important component of success. Now, what to do is really important, but how you do it is important too. So let's take a moment to clarify what makes some people more successful than others. And to do this, we need to go back in time to the turn of the 19th century and meet Andrew Carnegie. Andrew Carnegie led the expansion of U.S. Steel at the turn of the 19th century. And he's widely regarded as one of the richest men in American history. During the last years of his life, he died in 1999, he gave away $350 million to charities, foundations, and universities. $350 million in 1919. Can you imagine what that would be in today's dollars? And with the fortune he made in business, he built Carnegie Hall in New York. And in 1905, he established the Carnegie Foundation, which is now the Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching. And one of the first research studies initiated by the Carnegie Foundation was to identify why some people are more successful than others. And after significant study, they produced the Carnegie Triangle. Now, you know there are three sides to a triangle. And in their research, they identified one side of the triangle as that of knowledge. And if you have knowledge, you can be more successful. I think we can all agree on that. Certainly, this fits with the foundation for teaching concept. Now, another side of the triangle is skill. And skill is the application of knowledge. So now, if you're knowledgeable and you have skill in applying that knowledge, you can be more successful. All makes total sense, right? Knowledge and skill are certainly very helpful in determining success. Now, here's what they didn't expect. They didn't expect that the analysis would show that these two critical components of success would make up only 15% of criteria. That's right, knowledge and skill are responsible for 15% of why some people are more successful than others, 15%. So what do you think makes up the other 85% of success or why some people are more successful than others? It's attitude. Attitude makes up 85% of success. Look around you and you probably know people that have a high level college degree or they're very talented, but they can't seem to get out of their own way. And you probably know some people that aren't necessarily very knowledgeable or very talented, and they somehow find a way to be more successful regardless of their challenges. And if you think about the most successful people in the world, so take an Olympic athlete, for example, and identify what makes him a world-class athlete, you'll find that knowledge about how to run the race or talent alone or skill alone is not what makes a winner. It's attitudes and behaviors, it's drive, it's determination, it's persistence, it's focused, it's ambitious. They all make the difference between making the Olympic team or winning a gold medal. Everyone's talented, everyone's skilled. Not everyone has the attitude or the drive or the behaviors that are necessary to be successful. If you make a list of all the attributes necessary to be a world-class athlete and then put a K for knowledge or an S for skill or an A for attitude, you'll see that the A's grossly outnumber the K's and the S's. So the first most important requirement of success is a behavior. It's an attitude. It's your attitude. It's not something you do. It's a combination of beliefs and behaviors. So back to my client, they had the right attitude. They had the first most important component of success. They were experiencing an issue. They recognized that something wasn't working and they took ownership and they reached out. They didn't sit back and idly wait for a solution. And when we talked, by the way, I always try to make time for my client calls. All my clients are very respectful of my time, but there are times when a call between calls can resolve an issue right away. Of course, my purpose is to help them. So I tell them, don't wait. As soon as you identify an issue, reach out. Anyway, when we talked, we resolved their anxiety and then set some time to dig a little deeper during the week. 
So for you, so today, I want you to make a list of all your behaviors, all your critical behaviors. Identify the top behaviors that you want and need in yourself and your team members. Make a good list and then print out that list and write it on your whiteboard and review it every morning and review it with your team every day and remind yourself because we all need reminders. The Apostle Paul in the Bible frequently exhorts all of us to pray continuously and ask for the Holy Spirit to fill us up. And a friend of mine told me why Paul put this in the Bible. It's because we got leaks. And that's the reality, we have leaks. Our thoughts are insanely fast. We move on to the next thing pretty quickly and we forget the last thing. Our memory has leaks. And we need to continuously remind ourselves of what's important to our success. Give yourself as much help as you can. It will make a world of difference. Now, if you're interested in the Business Blueprint Intensive that's scheduled for June 28th in Irvine, California, it's a free business planning event. Write Blueprint in the comments below and I'll send you the details. Cheers to your success.